good morning Facebook family I am so glad to be doing what I'm doing right now I am doing my first live video and I figured the best thing I could do is to talk about why I'm doing it I was trying to figure out what is the topic I set myself a challenge to go live because it really puts me outside of my comfort zone I haven't been doing any live uh, videos and uh, from all the trainings from the learnings we are doing about uh, basically advancing your brand or your business or any sort of message that you want live videos is really one of the most effective ways to build your um, influence to build your following so in order for me to push myself outside of my comfort zone and uh, do this first live video I uh, made myself accountable to our team to our agents and I said that uh, this weekend I will go live I don't know about what I didn't quite uh, figure that out yet but having given myself a deadline and accountability I basically uh, kind of burn the bridges and this is one of the greatest uh, tips I think I can share is that if you want to get something done make yourself accountable to somebody you know you can do it publicly like I did I you know I shared it our trainings and I use it <laughs> I wouldn't be comfortable looking like my, my uh, uh, colleagues in the eyes if I didn't do what I said I was gonna do uh, but also setting a goal with a deadline is one of the greatest uh, assurances that something will get done and uh, I just figured I'll share something about goals today because it's probably the most fundamental change that I've acquired in the past 12 years is uh, becoming a goal setter. There is a great book, uh, actually it's also an audio program by uh, Brian Tracy. It's called uh, The Ultimate Goals Program or the book is called Goals where he teaches how to set goals and uh, his kind of focus is you want to set goals that are present, that are personal, and that are positive. Present means you phrase them in a way that you've already done it. So you would say, I, uh, I have lost 20 pounds, instead of saying, I want to lose 20 pounds, right? You, but you would also give yourself a deadline. You'd say, I've lost 20 pounds by January 2022, or something like this, right? So you set the goals in uh, the present tense or present perfect tense. You also set the goal as personal, even if you have a team, like in our case, we have business teams that we work with, but you actually have to say I versus we for every goal that you set in order to take responsibility. And then of course you want it to be positive. So you wouldn't say, you know, I don't smoke, like you'd say, I lead a healthy life or, you know, so you put it in a, in a positive format, no, you, you don't, uh, do not include the negative in your goal setting. And that's really a, a journey on my goal setting that started with Brian Tracy, but it had evolved over the 12 years. Uh, Brian Tracy teaches people to set goals on a daily basis and write them on a daily basis. And for years, that's the only way I, I did it. And in fact, I, in order to make it into a habit, I linked it to something very pleasurable. And that's another tip that I have, is that if something that you want to happen on a daily basis, on a regular basis, uh, that part of your discipline, part of your routine, part of your success, connect it to something pleasurable, a reward, if you will, you know, and uh, for, for, for a long while on my way to the office, I would stop by Barnes & Noble and write my goals there every day. So I associated goal writing with one of my favorite places, a bookstore and the coffee cup, right? And so that's uh, another way to make sure that we, uh, we focus on our goals, we write our goals. And then recently, uh, in one of our team trainings, we listened to the talk by Darren Hardy. Darren Hardy has a great uh, talk on, in, uh, on divine purpose. And you guys would see that my divine purpose is on my blackboard because today is Sunday and on a Sunday, 
we follow the review of the divine purpose for our team. It's a call is coming up at nine o'clock where we'll talk about our goals for the week. And uh, that's a really great, great strategy because it helps you narrow down your focus. And basically in, uh, in the divine purpose talk, uh, and I guess uh, the blog that uh, he's written, Darren Hardy explains, that uh, we should focus on three major goals for the week and then everything else that's not three major goals goes into miscellaneous and so as you plan your day and you plan your week you identify does it help me with my goal number one goal number two goal number three or is this miscellaneous and what you understand and what you notice that most of our life and you know he kind of calls it the devil's vortex because it's distractions it's the things that need to be done but they often lead us away from our goals and uh, sometimes we busy ourselves throughout our week with all kinds of stuff and it seems like we're busy but we're not advancing anywhere because we're not working towards our goals we're just spending time in devil's vortex so after we've learned about this strategy um, our team have decided to review our our quadrant for the divine purpose on a weekly basis every sunday to refresh you know and reset our goals and to identify what activities throughout the week will go into each of these quadrants so that accidentally we don't drift into spending majority of our time in the in the devil's vortex in the miscellaneous section when we make no progress towards things that truly matter to us Goals can be housewife, uh, you know, house related. They can be uh, uh, income and business goals. They can be uh, spiritual goals, service goals, giving goals, family goals. So you decide what kind of goals you're gonna set on your uh, divine purpose, and then kind of figure out what activities help you contribute to it. But uh, hopefully, this is my first attempt, and at at the uh, live video had worked. I'm, I'm hoping it's gonna save. I'll figure it out. And uh, if you want to hear about something specifically, um, leave a comment. I'd be happy to talk about it. And the things that we can talk about is really the coaching for business development, for goal setting, for uh, striving and achieving great things in life. But also, I uh, I believe that I there is so much. I can offer personally to pretty much every person that I can meet because we offer a business opportunity for somebody who wants to get out of their job and uh, maybe start a part-time uh, work or we offer financial planning so we can help people accumulate wealth, create financial strategies based on their current incomes and how to optimize it, you know, what to do with their 401ks, what kind of life insurance is the best type. So in terms of financial planning, we're a big, big source of uh, knowledge and uh, access to resources and in financial instruments. But additionally to that, I feel in a way that if somebody is going through a healing crisis or health crisis, somebody is going through a loss, uh, on the spiritual side of things, there is so much that I have been learning and studying and uh, engaging in in terms of uh, uh, spiritual and emotional healing that I'd be happy to support somebody and share some uh, uh, some knowledge or some ideas about uh, uh, going through experiences like this uh, and of course parenting and family and uh, stuff related to that that's uh, my daily uh, I guess um, adventure is to figure out how to be the best parent uh, I can be and uh, help our kids become really the citizens of the world, a world who are not swayed by the pressures of the, you know, the age and uh, peer pressures and who know that their goal and purpose in life is to serve and to become a contributor to the humanity around us. So there's a lot of things that I feel like we can talk about and uh, that would bring value uh, in discussing. So uh, if there's anything that you feel it would be nice to make a live video on, I know I will have 
I will need ideas moving forward. I, I don't want to make live videos part of my uh, ongoing engagement on social media. And hopefully they will evolve and I'll look back on this one and think, oh my gosh, what did I do? But um, I am happy that I did it. I, uh, I'm happy I made myself a deadline and I made myself accountable and I'd be able to look uh, at my colleagues, uh, you know, in tw tw whatever, 36 minutes at nine o'clock Sunday calls that we uh, discuss our weekly goals at and uh, tell them I, I did it because I did. Thank you for joining me.